Hello and welcome. My name is Ben Morrison. I'm a solutions architect here at Trilio. And today I'm going to be doing a backup and restore demo using Trilio Vault for Kubernetes. And this will be across two different clusters using a WordPress application. So first, let's take a look at the clusters we have here. We have a RKE cluster that we are using and then a GKE cluster that we will be using today. We're gonna be migrating or restoring an application from GKE, a WordPress application, over to our RKE cluster. So here looking at our GKE cluster, let's do a get all of our KubeCon demo namespace. And here we can see a WordPress application we have up and running. We have two different pods, a front end and then a back end MySQL pod, two different services for the WordPress application, front end and then back end MySQL. And then we also have some persistent volumes as well associated with our application. And we can see here that these persistent volumes are bound to the storage class standard RWO. For our RKE cluster, let's take a look at the namespace we'll be restoring it into. So here we can see that there are no resources currently in our KubeCon restore namespace. And there are no persistent volumes currently in this KubeCon restore namespace. I'll also point out that we are using a Longhorn storage class in this cluster. And so when we do the restore, we'll have to make sure the application is using the correct storage class when it gets into this RKE cluster. Now let's take a look at the WordPress application that we will be using. Here you can see we're using a node port to access our WordPress application. And here we have 31565 as the node port. And here, 31565, you can see, is the WordPress Trilio demo website we have running on our GKE cluster. Now let's go ahead and log into Trilio Vault for Kubernetes and do a backup of this application. Here I can log in using a single sign-on configured with Google. You can configure any single sign-on with OIDC, or you can s configure an LDAP sign-on. Here, let's go to the namespace that we want to back up. We can see here we have our KubeCon demo namespace, which has our WordPress application. There's already been one backup completed, but we're gonna go ahead and do another backup. We already have a backup plan completed as well, and you can see some of the details here. This is in the KubeCon demo namespace. It's using the KubeCon Europe 2022 target, where our backups are going to be stored to. And there are no scheduling policies used on this demo at this time. Now that we've seen the details, we can make sure this is, we can make sure this backup plan is selected and go ahead and kick off a backup. And I'm going to be doing an incremental backup. This means that only any changes in data that have occurred from my initial full backup will be stored onto the target. And now our backup is underway. Okay, now that our backup has been completed, let's take a look at the status log. So first Trilio took a metadata snapshot and then a data snapshot of each persistent volume associated with this application. Next, the data was uploaded onto the S3 target. And lastly, that metadata was uploaded as well to the same S3 target. Now that we've completed our backup, Let's go back into our Trilio 
website on WordPress and do an example of a disaster situation. Let's say some sort of disaster occurs and your data gets deleted. Whether it's a ransomware attack, other cybersecurity attack, or maybe some internal disaster that occurs. Now, if we take a look at our website, we can say, see that the data we had before is now deleted. Now is when we would go into Trilio and do a restore onto our failover cluster, which would be our RKE cluster you can see here in the same pane of glass. Let's go into the disaster recovery planning tool. And from here, we can do a restore onto our failover RKE cluster. Here, I'll select what target I wanna pull my backup plan from. And here I can see the same backup plan that was used before, KubeCon NS GKE backup plan is available on this target. If I wanted to, I could select multiple backup plans to restore all at once, but for now, I'll just select and restore one. Here I want to restore my WordPress application into my KubeCon restore namespace on this RKE cluster. And I'm gonna have one flag on here, skip if already exists, just in case for some reason there are leftover resources there that were not deleted before. I also need to add a transform to make sure that my persistent volume claim uses the correct storage class. I'll select my two PVCs, name my transform storage class transform, and I'll do a replace operation on spec storage class name. And I'll replace the name from standard to Longhorn. Now that our transform is added, we'll be good to go with our new storage class in our RKE cluster, and there's no additional steps that need to be done at this time. If I wanted to, however, I could exclude certain resources from my backup plan, or even add in a hook if I wanted to here in the restore step. But for now, I can go ahead and execute. Now that it looks like our resource completed, we can take a look and see that a target validation first was completed, then a validation of the backup itself. We then had a restore of the data with these two persistent volumes, the MySQL and the WordPress persistent volumes. And finally, we restored our metadata. Now this is complete. Let's go back to the terminal and find the new URL for our new WordPress application that's been restored. Here in our RKE cluster, we can do a get all of that KubeCon restore namespace, which remember before was empty. And now we can see that just a few seconds ago, we restored our WordPress application. We have both of our pods up and running, both services, both deployments. We can also take a look and see both of our persistent volume claims now restored in using Longhorn storage class. In order to connect to our new WordPress application, let's take a look at the ingress address. We can delete our old application Add in the node port for our new application. And now see that our WordPress application was restored and our data is restored as well, back to how it was before. Thank you, and this concludes our demo. Please visit our Trilio YouTube page for more videos and demos on Trilio Vault for Kubernetes. Thank you.